Hi, I'm Chris. And in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of workflow tips of how to deal with loops and samples using Logic Pro. Okay, so here we are faced with a dreaded empty arrange page. And a good source of inspiration for a lot of people is to start using samples. And we know that we can just simply drag files from the finder into Logic and place them on the arrange page and all is fine and dandy. But Logic has a couple of things that we can do to kind of streamline that workflow a little bit. And if I go up here to my file browser, it's shortcut F on my system. I have three things on top here. I have the whole system, I have my home folder, and the project. Now, in this case, I'm going to go to the top level here, and I'm going to go to my sample drive. Now, I'm a big proponent of keeping things nice and organized, so it's easier to find stuff. So in this case, let's say I want to go for one of these Slate Digital Hip Hop sample packs here. So I can double click that and open it up. And until I get to my samples, loops, lo-fi drum loops, sure, and full loops, and I can audition them here in, in Logic. And I can find something that I like and simply drag it into the arrange window like this. All right. I'm going to convert it. Now, there's an issue with this as well, because the file here we see is normally at 100 BPM. My session is at 85. So what I can do is simply listen to how long this file is. And I think it's a two or four bar loop. Here, let's take a listen. Yeah, so it's going to be four bars. So what I can do is I can just select my region and option drag it out so it's a full four bars. And Logic will adjust that for us. And now it's playing back at the tempo that I want. But that's not necessarily a very elegant situation. So let me show you a different way we can do this. And also, while we're on the subject, if I find myself going to the same folder again, we can create a bookmark for ourselves. So let me show you how we do this. So if I go into the sample pack and I have this slate digital hip hop pack here and I'm navigating down to my drums and my loops and say I go to these all the time. What I can do is either control click or right click on the loop and say bookmark that folder. Now we see we get a new icon up here as well. So if I'm back here and I just click my bookmarks, it takes me straight to that folder. So that's a really, really handy way. But again, when we're working with loops here, we kind of want them to adapt to our arrangement style or if we have something started already, our tempo, we want it to be the same. So here's another way that we can do this. I'm going to navigate again to my folder. And instead this time of bookmarking that, I'm going to go to add to untagged loops. Now we get this warning window here that in short says that the files will be adapted to the project tempo when previewed or added to a project. Awesome. Let's do that. Now we have another little icon up here, which is our untagged loops. So if we click on that, now what we get is these loops are going to play back at the project tempo that we have. Cool. Let's start with this file. So now if I drag this in here, Logic adapts it so that we see that it's exactly four bars in the new tempo of 85. Perfect. And now all the other loops will do the same thing. So let's go back and find something a little bit more. Let's go with a, another hi-hat loop. Okay, this is going to sound horrible, but just to prove a point. Okay, 
it's twice as long. So let's repeat this bad boy. And now we have a nice little loop for ourselves here. And there you go. I hope you found some of that helpful and it will improve your workflow. As always, thanks for watching and have an awesome day. If you create these bookmarks or the untagged loops and you make too many and you decide to get rid of some, this is where they live. We go into music, audio music apps, and the folders are in here, bookmarks or untagged loops. It's just an alias where it references the loop. So if you want to get rid of one, just nuke it like that and they won't be in your session anymore. Thank you.